Okay, if you get a new pop-up chiller and you're not sure how to set it up, most of them are the same way. They don't vary too much between makes and models and sizes and shapes. Um, but this is a typical pop-up trailer, and I'll show you what you need to do to set it up. Uh, what I have are a couple levels on here, so when you crank it down using this crank and you get it in position, make sure that the uh, bubble is in the, um, the lines so that you know your trailer is level, and always chalk the wheels. So the first, next thing you want to do is undo the latches. Usually there's just four of them on each corner. Then you're gonna wanna come over and there's a crank to crank it up. Alright, there's our crank. So you're gonna open this door and now this tells you which way is up. So up is to the left, so you're gonna crank it to the right rail. So you put the thing in here. And just crank. And the top will start to raise up for you. And it's as easy as that. You want to go up pretty high. You don't want to max it out all the way because you don't want to leave a little, little bit of slack in the cables. Right, so right now I usually crank it to about there. It's not all the way up yet. So there's a little bit of play in the material. And the next, you can grab a hold and pull the beds out. But this goes on the front. And then come around the back and pull the back bed out. Like, like that. So then the next step is to go inside and there's a hoop inside. They'll do that in a minute. And uh, you gotta prop out the ends. Okay, so once you have the both ends of the beds slid out on the outside, the next thing you wanna do on both ends of the trail is you're gonna wanna grab this pole and you're gonna put it right at the edge of the hoop. And you can push right out on it. So if it's right in there like that, zoom in on it for you. It's like a little notch that it fits in. And then there's like a little catch right here that'll be on your trailer. You want to push it out, and you want to slide it right into the end, slide it over so the locks in place, and do this on both ends of the trailer. And now your bed is all set up on both sides. Okay, after you put the sides up and pop out the beds on your pop-up trailer, the um, one little next thing you want to do, um, one of the last things you want to do is, um, it's not the last thing, but after you raise the roof and pop out the beds and stuff, is uh, you want to put your door in a place. This is one of the biggest pains in setting up the trailer. <laughs> Sometimes they can fight you a little bit, but um, if you know the order to do it in, it's not too hard. The first thing you want to do is you want to Put your door into place. So I close the door, shut, and then there's going to be two openings. There's going to be an opening there, a little pinhole, like right there, and there's going to be another one on this side. So you're going to come up here, and these two little screws that secure your door into place on the roof. You're going to undo these screws, and then you're going to put this little tab and the other little tab right here into the holes that I just showed you. Um, there's like a, a plate right here and this 
swings up and down a little bit to help give you some room to raise the door up and to put it in the place and then you can slide the door down and lock it into place with these two tabs. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to take that one down and I'm going to take this one down. And then your door will come loose. So, this plate's gonna be right here, and then what you need to do is you need to lift the door up, like this. And then you're gonna put those posts in those two holes. Okay, so with your door in place, you're gonna put that pin in that hole, and you're gonna line up the other pin into the other hole, and then your door will be nice and secure. And then you're going to come up here, you're going to lock these two little locks in place on the top of the door. And you can test the door out, and make sure it opens. Now you need to do the bottom first because if you don't do the bottom first, a lot of times this isn't going to go into place right. And um, you need to do it all over again. So once the door is in place, you need to secure the door, the canvas to the door. And the way that you do that is to take the canvas and this canvas ridge is going to go into this lip right here. So I'll show you on this one. It's going to tuck right into the door like this. And then once you get it going, it's not too bad. It kind of goes pretty quick. You go all the way up to the door, up to the top, and you repeat this on both sides, and this seals the door shut to the side of your pop up trailer. And you finish Velcro on the top. And there you go, your door is all sealed to the side. Okay, so once your door is in place and your bump outs are bumped out, um, you want to come Velcro the bottom to your Velcro underneath the platform. There's a huge strip that runs along all, all the sides in the front and back. So you want to connect it to that. That's all you do is up and under, and then you'll seal yourself from the elements. And you won't fall out of bed. <laughs> Alright, let me refocus this for you. Sorry about that. Messed up on the thing. Alright, so now we're all sealed to the bottom. I gotta do this thing. And just pull it right into place, right to the bottom, all the way around. Okay, so once you get everything velcroed into place, um, the next thing you want to do is there's two supports for the bed. There's two for the front and two for the rear, and that's all they are really, are uh, tent poles. So I'll we'll show you how to put these in. They're really easy. Um, what I like to do is you'll see a couple of hooks. There's one hook there, and there's one hook at the other end. Um, the rear to go into a notch in the bumper. Um, easiest way I found to do it is to put the top in first and then uh, kind of line up the bumper. I usually use my shoulder to push up on the bed. It's pretty light and secure it in the place. That's all you need to do. It goes right into that notch. Yeah, look for a notch on your bumper and it goes right up there and then repeat one more for the other side of the bed and the same with the front there's two in the back and two in the front usually okay so when you've done that this is how to look the two supports in the front 
Um, on this trailer it goes to the tongue, most of them do, and then right up under the bed again. Um, the same in the back. <coughs> when you're done, this is how the back will look. There'll be two bars that go up and support you while you're sleeping. Uh, so pretty much the last thing we're going to do is on all four corners underneath these trailers there's a stabilizer bar. Um, I'm gonna, you can do that before you do all this or you can do it last. I knew there was going to be nobody in here. So I, I was going to do it last but what you need to do is steer up and underneath your trailer. Um, okay, let's see. Here's one. You do this a bit. Pull it out. And they come down. So right there is a little stand. Um, I'm gonna have to clear some ground away to get this one out. But there's typically one in each corner and you put these stands down and they lock into place and it helps to stabilize the corners of the trailer. So they're especially important in the back so that the t trailer doesn't flip up when you go to get out on the bed in the back. Um, on the front you have the tongue to help you out, but the front ones help to support and stabilize the trailer too. And pretty much that's just about all there is to setting up a pop-up trailer.